In today's video, I'll be going over a lesser known tool, but a very powerful tool that allows you to do keyword research, find topics for your blog posts, and optimize your content all within one tool. And that tool is called Writer's End. Now, before we get into the full tutorial, Writer's End does have a lifetime deal currently on AppSumo. So if you want to check out the lifetime deal, I will leave a link for it in the description below today's video. I really like lifetime deals because obviously you pay once and you get access to the tool forever. So it saves you a lot of money in the long run. So if you have an online website or if you're trying to grow your site, then Writer's End is going to be a very, very useful tool. The first tool in which we'll be taking a look at is called the Topic Discovery Tool. So the Topic Discovery Tool essentially allows you to search a search engine and topic discovery tool to help you in your content writing. So let's say, for example, I am in the mortgage industry. I can search up my main keyword and I can choose the demographics in which I'm located in. So let's say I'm in the States or I'm in Canada. I can choose between countries. So we see the keyword and we see the relevancy of that specific keyword. And we also see some ideas that we can write up on based upon that um, target keyword. So for example, mortgages in general, we see some ideas here of topics. Then we see some variations of topics in which we can write about. So for example, private mortgages, this gets a good amount of search volume. So again, what we can do is we can show ideas here and we can get some ideas for topics in which we can write about related to private mortgages. If we scroll down, we can see points, the mortgage points, um, we see some companies here, we see some house, we see some qualify, so questions related to qualify, pre-approval, residential, and so on. So this is really good because again, we can see the search volume and then we can see some ideas. And if we want to, we can actually click on that link and it will show us the link of that specific website. So this is going to give us right off the bat some good ideas. This is good for building your topical authority because if let's say you're starting a new niche, then we can know that our website is about mortgages, but then we can maybe have a subsection that's about private mortgages, about mortgage points, about um, residential mortgages, about being pre-approved for mortgages, about self-employed mortgages, and so on. So this is a good way of doing high level keyword research or just understanding how to find topics related to your specific um, niche in which you're in. So that's the topic discovery tool. The second tool that we'll be taking a look at is the keyword explorer tool. The Keyword Explorer tool is kind of like any other keyword research tool. So what we do is we start by entering our keyword in which we want to do research on. We can also search by domain. And then we're going to get some SERP overview and some search volume metrics based upon that keyword. So again, we can see that keyword, the search volume, the trend, and we can see variations of that keyword. So mortgage ability calculator, different types of calculators, mortgage, mortgage interest rates today, mortgage equity, line of credit, and so on. And just like other keyword research tools, we can add filters, we can have um, phrase matches, we can have having the same keywords, we can increase or decrease the volume, the word count, and so on. So let's say, for example, we want to find long tail keywords, we can add a minimum word count of three, or even let's do four. And as you can see here, you will get um, more longer tail keywords, you'll see the search volume, the cost per click, and the word count and how difficult it is to rank for those specific keywords. So another great tool that's integrated into Writers In, which allows you to do keyword research. There's also a plagiarism checker tool, which allows you to enter your text and then it will check for plagiarized content. So let's say you found a keyword in which you would like to write on. You can select that keyword and you can either create an article from the select keyword or you can add it to a list. So let's say we wanted to create an article. We can click on that feature. And this is going to open up our content editing and our content brief, which allows us to write an article based upon that specific, um, that specific keyword. So we can actually have the AI assistant write the article title, description and outline, or we can have the AI to write the full article. Now, I would be wary about having the AI to write the full article because we're not sure how the quality is going to look like. But for this example, let's actually go ahead and try that and see what the quality looks like. I would recommend writing the content yourself. But again, um, let's see if we were to use the AI built in, how that quality would compare to, let's say, if we were to actually write the content ourselves. So as you can see, it's collecting data, it's identifying competitors, and we're going to take a look to see the content that we're able to get back. Okay, so this is the full article that we get back from Writer's End. It is a overall score of C, about 781 words, 
but it actually doesn't look too bad. Um, demystifying mortgage borrowing capacity step by step. It just looks like it's a very generic AI generated article. But if you are tight on time or um, if you just want to test this out, this is not a bad article by any means. But what I would recommend is if you are going to use the AI, maybe you, you just generate the outline and then you can use that outline to write the full article. I have a lot of tutorial on this um, channel where I show you how to write the best articles. So I would just follow those formats and then you can paste in your content into this content um, brief or content editing section, and then you can edit over the content. So we see some problems here. You need to increase the content length. You need to add at least four images and you need to include all of the target keywords. So if we take a look at the target keywords, we can see which keywords we need to include. So we need to include closing costs. We can include credit score a little bit more, house afford, annual percentage rate, and so on. So these are the keywords in which we need to uh, make sure that we're um, adding into this specific article. So we can see the overall score. We can also look and take a look at the outline. We can look at our competitors. So if you want to see what our competitors are doing, we can take a look at that to get a good idea of what we need to do in order to outrank um, those competitors. We can also search up the top ask questions from Google. So if you wanted to add that into a FAQ section, we can add that in um, at the bottom of our article there. So a lot of different features that we have included into um, writers and it's not just only a content optimization tool it allows you to do keyword research and it allows you to do topic research so that's why i really really like this tool they actually do not always have a lifetime deal so it's not often that you will see it um, having a lifetime deal on AppSumo. so i definitely recommend that you grab the lifetime deal because it's not going to be available forever it's kind of on and off so if it is available grab it it is very much worthwhile it is only 79 dollars and you will get access to all of those features that I went over in today's video. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick walkthrough of Writer's Zen. If you did enjoy it, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will see you in the next video.